Lisa Irvine. You guys are LA's rich, bitchy cousin. <laughs> A lot of over the sweater jewelry in this town. I see you. I see you, fucking oil baron wives. How about for everybody you've seen on the stage so far tonight? Shane and Romani, Corey Chad, the Smash Bros. It's been so good. Whoever you're with had to go shit. Is that a girl? Yeah. You think she's shitting? You hope so? Yeah. Why? Clear the chamber, right? <laughs> Fucking yeah, dude. You don't want to go in there later and have that E.T. finger poking you back, right? You're a gentleman, though. You just push it back up, right? Buy yourself 30 minutes. Ladies, I don't feel like when you put on those swell dresses tonight, you were thinking about hearing a butt-fucking finger-up-the-ass joke immediately, were you? I apologize for that. You guys chose to bring your girls' night out to this. I'm already talking about fingers-up asses. It's not classy. God bless. That lady's arms are folded. She is not enjoying herself. <laughs> are you okay? You having fun? Oh, thank God. This is your boyfriend. Aw. You guys are a young love, too. How old are you, dude? 20. How about you? Older than him. Nice. What's the age that happens? Do you know what I mean? Because when a girl's like 25 and like a 20 year old's talking to her, they're like, ew, what? But there's some point you'll go younger, right? <laughs> Younger's better? How young would you go? Let's say, I know it's hypothetical, this guy got fucking ran over by a fucking bus. <laughs> Not even. He was crushed between two buses, and those buses were holding his organs in place. As soon as they move those buses, he's gonna die, but they have time to call you in. And you get to see him and say your last goodbyes. And then they pull those buses apart, and his organs all fall to the ground, and he dies. He's out of your life. What's the youngest guy you would fuck? Twenty-six. What do you think a twenty-six-year-old knows that maybe a twenty-two-year-old doesn't? You think you know how to eat pussy yet? Probably not. Actually, maybe the internet teaches them now. I always say young girls probably can't suck dick, but I mean, the porno is showing them something, right? I hear young girls just take loads on the face now. Willy-nilly. That was an earned respect in my day. You had to love a man to make him paint your face. Once you've earned that love and met their parents, that's when you cover their face with load, like... So they look like a fucking Jabberwocky. <laughs> I should have got a bigger laugh. What do you do? 30 years old for a living. A massage therapist? Nice. How many times a week, and don't lie to me, does a man just pull his wiener out thinking that's what this is? Three times a week? What's the over-under? A couple times a week? Yeah. I've asked you. Oh, and you told me you were a massage therapist and I asked this before? What'd you say? If you would give me a hand job? For a thousand dollars? Did I say that? It sounds like me. Classic me. I think I was playing the hypothetic that if somebody wants to get whacked off in your thing for a thousand dollars, I don't know if whack off is my best look for my dick. <laughs> Let me see how big your hands are. Those fingers are long. You're gonna be fucking having your thumb touch your knuckles like Jimi Hendrix on the guitar. <laughs> make my wiener feel thin. No, spank you. Get those fucking monster paws out of here. Good luck, dude. Thank God you got that thick dick we're all talking about. 
I bet he shaved his dick hair. Ladies intuition, look at this guy, you think he shaves his dick hair? Go on, look at him. Go on, have a look. It looks like he might shave his dick hair, right? Oh man, that's a church lady. I don't know if that's true. You're not a church lady? Are you a wild child? You got a tattoo? Two? Clip piercing? Two? I'm kidding. <laughs> the audience couldn't see, I could just made up anything. Four clip piercings? Shower rings. Are you single? Divorced. Never married. Nice. You're playing fast and loose, that's cool. When you're waiting for Steven Tyler and Aerosmith to come to town so you can get them. <laughs> What's your type of dude? No such type at all. There's probably single dudes here. This is a my show. My show's all single dudes or guys with their girlfriends who they had this conversation with earlier. No, he's nice. You'll see, he's just kidding. <laughs> She's fucking around. <laughs> You're a unicorn here. Where's all the single ladies at? <laughs> if this was a Chris D'Elia show, they would have all squirted like the Bellagio at the same time. <laughs> Guess this room's not full of squirters. Sorry, ladies. Joe's living this desert, bitch. <laughs> Room got uncomfortable. Is dry pussy a thing down here or something? We do our best. We do our best. You have no type of guy. Where's the single dudes at? All over this motherfucker, I bet. Yeah, it's usually more than that. Never mind. It's not enough to make it a thing. But it's too many also to make it a thing. Like, that's like, I've heard about three single dudes, which is one for every hole. I know that's what you're thinking. <laughs> this crowd draws weird lines. Don't get uptight, everybody. I'm just an older Jewish gentleman telling you some comedy. <laughs> Where the Jews at? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking wild, huh? It's all non-Jew money out here? What's going on? Are you, right? I'm Jew. Are you Jewish, really? You religious, though? Yeah, you don't give a shit. I'm not either. Are you jew -y? You don't know? You are. Just the way you said, I don't know. It's, yeah, it's, I'm getting pretty Jewy as I get older. I love any brothy soup. That wasn't the old me. I can feel cold weather coming in my bones. That's pretty Jewy. I hate the Nazis. I'll say it. I know it's a hot take here in Irvine, but... I'll say it out loud. I don't care for the Nazis. I fucking hate them. Every one of those Nazi fucks I hate. Not everyone. There's actually one I do feel bad for. The Jew number Nazi Holocaust tattoo artist. That wasn't why that guy got into art. You know what I mean? That wasn't why that guy got into art. I bet every day he was like, can I do an eagle on this guy? I'm like, no. Just do the numbers, please. Can we do this guy's numbers in negative space? No! Not everybody laughed, that's cool. Turns out you have to believe the Holocaust happened to get that joke. Oh, white supremacist. 